over or extra fabric that you cut off while you're cutting your other shapes to make things. Um, I've cut them into two and a half inch square uh, squares basically and I'm making churn dash. All these will be sewn together end to end and I should make this one of my borders. So to make these the uh, churn dashes are coming out at uh, six inches and then obviously when they're sewn together in the quilt they'll be end up five and a half inches. Uh, so we're just about um so basically all you need is background which I've, for all my background I've chosen this fabric because that's the most one I've got most of. So you want eight of those, one of those for the centre which is there and then which obviously then it's all your patterns. Now you can either mix all these, you don't have to have all the same but I like the look of it when they're all together the same. So you want eight background and eight patterned and on four of your pattern, no sorry that's wrong on four of your background or your pattern, it don't really matter actually because you're putting uh, right sides together one patterned and one background and then you sew down the middle so you want four sewn down the middle with the next four you need to sew one side can't pick it up, one side to the other, just on one side. And then do all four across that way. So there they are all pressed, they're pressed open and they're pressed flat. All seams go to the pattern side. So we need to do one more thing with um, the flat ones and that is we only want a two and a half inch block obviously from the seam out either side it's going to be one and a quarter inches so just measure down the seam and cut one and a quarter inches either side now you might find a better way of doing churn dashes at this size you can do whatever size you want actually because it's your quilt and uh, you don't even have to do this as a um, border you can do whatever you wish uh, but this is what I've chosen to do and it's uh, a six inch uh, five and a half finished block and a six inch sewn block churn dash this is the way I do it so once you've uh, done all your sewing and cutting start in the middle and then obviously then these I'm trying to think now how it goes go this way. There's four of those and four corners. Churn dash block. And then obviously then you sew them in rows. So do the first, second and third row. So then once you add all your rows sewn together, then what you need to do is press them so that whichever one, you, well, whichever way you do your middle, whether it be that way or that way, you do your top and your bottom the opposite. So there they are pressed. So what you do now is turn the top one over to the middle, and because you've sewn the seams the opposite direction, they will nest together. So always put your seams together first and make sure that they're spot on, and then sew it across. And once you've done that one, join the second one and sew that. It's just sewn all three together and then you've pressed the back. Um, what we need to do now is square it up to six inches. Now I've got a six and a half inch ruler, but at the same time as you're trying to square it up, make sure that on each point you allow a quarter of an inch or more. So, the best way to do that is get your quarter of an inch line and put on the tip of one and then you're going to pass, try and get as square as possible by picking another point up like there I've got a it's a straight line down that down that centre one there and then take that one off 
turn that the other way round and put your six inch line on there because make sure that you've got a quarter of an inch from this side if not you might have to go back and take a bit more off that one to get it right so we'll turn it back just double check six inches on that side make sure I've got a quarter of an inch and then we're going to chop a bit more off that side but you'll have lit up eventually right now top and bottom because I've turned it I've got straight edges so make sure that I've got a quarter of an inch on each tip and I've got a straight line across bottom all the top and you need to just trim that bit you don't take a lot off and then the six inch on this one then you should have three sides that you should be able to put your six inches and make sure you've still got a quarter of an inch if not move it over slightly and then oops still got a quarter of an inch on them tips there you go and that's six inch across there this is finished and that's all the others and then obviously each time I do a block and I get some spare I should be making two and a half inch squares and getting my uh, book, my first border ready when the quilt's finished thank you for joining me I hope you enjoy the chain dash block um, I hope you have a go don't forget to like and subscribe and join me again.